In this morning's Health Watch, we look at the relationship between viruses and cancer, in particular the human papillomavirus, or HPV. Doctors say most of these cancers can be prevented with a simple vaccine. Moxville's Marilyn Deutsch introduces us to a local man who got throat cancer from the HPV virus. 51-year-old Jim Reynolds is one of 40,000 Americans who every year is diagnosed with HPV-related cancer. He had throat cancer. I went to shave before work. It had been two or three days since I'd shaved. And just sort of as I was on the downstroke here, I noticed that I had a large uh, lump right here in my neck where kind of lymph nodes would be. As any doctor will tell you, you don't ignore a lump. Providence head and neck cancer surgeon Brian Bell removed 30 tumors from Jim's throat. Fortunately, it could be done through minimally invasive robotic surgery. It's been a tremendous advance in our, in our ability to surgically remove these cancers. And doctors were able to personalize Jim's after surgery treatment. No chemotherapy, but radiation treatments were many and harsh. Essentially, you have secondary burns on the outside of your neck, which are not, which are uncomfortable, but not so bad. And you have the same inside your throat. And apparently you swallow, I learned, about 300 times a day. And every one of those is excruciating. Worth it, though, three years out and Jim remains cancer-free. It's not clear how Jim got an HPV-related cancer, but doctors say HPV cancers can be sexually transmitted. Jim's son and daughter have both gotten the HPV vaccine. That's why it's so important to get these vaccines early in adolescence before the children become sexually active to prevent the HPV infection that leads to the cancer. The CDC recommends that your kids get the HPV vaccine as early as age 11, but if you have missed that time frame, the CDC says teens and young adults should still get the vaccine. In studio, Marilyn Deutsch, Good Day Oregon. If you'd like more information about HPV-related cancers, you can go to our website, kptv.com, and click on Health under the Menu tab.